I'm Maggie from Back to the Land Living and today we're back in here in our cabin and I'm going to be working on making a stone hearth pad for our wood stove. And so while I'm working on this inside our cabin, my husband Eric and my grandfather are up on the roof working on the chimney for the stove on the outside of the cabin so if you hear anything funny it's just them on the roof. So for the hearth pad for our wood stove I really wanted to have something that looked natural and kind of fit the cabin feel that I really like and so I decided to just use stones that I found just outside of our cabin. So for the perimeter of our hearth pad we decided to use maple that we just found in Eric's parents barn. It was a rough sawn lumber that his grandfather got done up. I like how you can see the saw blades and it's pretty old so it gave a nice rustic feel to the edge of the hearth pad. And to do this we had one eight foot two by four and the size of our hearth pad is going to be four feet by four feet. So we took the eight foot two by four, cut it in half and used one of those four foot pieces for along the front edge. And for the side edges, we ripped that in half to make two two by twos and put them along the edge for the perimeter of our hearth pad. And we just screwed those down into the floor of our cabin. All we had to buy to do this was the mortar because I'm just finding the rocks from around our cabin. Our land is a pretty rocky, so when we had to dig up the holes for putting the concrete tube footing in, we dug up a lot of rocks. So I'm gonna use the thin ones of those to make this hearth pad. So let's go get the rocks. So now I have all of my stones brought in to the cabin and I'm going to start laying them out inside the hearth area in the certain configuration that I like. So the only thing different besides just putting these in that I'm going to do is actually in the middle I'm going to I'm going to add this. So this is actually just a patio stone. It doesn't look like how I want our hearth to look is not natural but our wood stove is actually a pedestal stove so the base of it is like a big square and so it will completely cover up this stone and the reason I'm not going to use just normal like natural stone is because they're not level and I don't want our wood stove to wobble and I want to be nice and firm so I'm going to put this one in the middle and then form all the other stones around it and once we have our stove set on top you won't even know that it's there. position which was kind of a challenge it was like a big puzzle that doesn't supposed to fit together and so I'm happy with how it's all laid out now sorry they're finishing up the chimney very nice chimney progress are you almost done anything so it's the next morning and we're back down here in the cabin and I'm first going to take a picture of the stone hearth to make sure that I know where all the pieces go and then I'm going to very carefully move them all out so I can lay down my mortar and put it back in. So I'm going to get started on that. to mix up our mortar and I'm going to first lay down this middle patio stone. So to mix up the mortar it just takes a few things, a five gallon pail and then these long like beater looking things and they go in the end of this drill, it's like a heavy duty drill and it'll mix it for us just to make it easier. Then I also have some trowels that we'll just um, be able to put on the mortar. The mortar that we got is called a mortar with polymer. It was just at our hardware store. It would happen to be on sale. It is a type that says you can use it for tiles or stones. So for the mortar, we decided to make it kind of like a thick icing, kind of like a buttercream icing consistency, where it is still holds its shape, but when we pulled the beater out of it, I'm sure it has a 
actual name, not beater, but we pulled that out of the cement, it spun off so it wasn't like still all stuck to it. So that's what we decided to go with for this base layer of mortar. And so now I'm gonna get to putting it on. Our first fire in the stove! It's so exciting to have our fire in our off-grid cabin for the first time. It'll be really nice for working in here for the rest of the winter, to not be so cold, and just really makes it feel like it's starting to come together to have the stove all in and done. So we got this stove actually for free. Eric and my grandfather were working out on a job site and this was in someone's basement and they said we could have it for free. So that was really great. We're so thankful to them for that. And then we have the hearth pad all finished and I'm really happy with how it came out. I like how the stones look and it looks really natural. Also, since this is a pedestal stove, you can't see that paver that we had, that concrete paver in the center and it's nice and level and it doesn't wobble and so that worked out really well. And then behind the stove, for right now, we just have a piece of metal roofing to keep the wall from getting too hot, but once we have the interior finished, it won't be a piece of metal. <laughs> It'll be more finished and something a lot prettier than this. But it's working really good for us right now and so I'm excited to see how the rest of the cabin comes together and share that with you guys. There's lots more work to be done but this is a really exciting step to have done to be able to feel the warmth of the stove in our cabin. It makes it feel so much more homey. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about our cabin leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.